My overall practice is about relationship with landscape. This exhibition is called Playing Fly. When I was a child, I spent part of my childhood in growing up in the wheat belt and it was a game that we used to play. Very simple games. My personal relationship with landscape began as a, a very young child prior to being shifting to the wheat belt. Very simple relationship, but it totally touched my heart. I guess there was a purity of relationship because I was a child. I think that what kids are exposed to when they're young, experiences they have in nature impact on their whole life. And because the environment is such an incredibly important aspect of our lives, if kids get exposure, they'll have an enduring concern and care for, for the land. And I think that's really important. The series in this show called The Book of Departures, a series of embroideries, I came across a document that recorded species that were vulnerable, species that were endangered, and species that were critically endangered. I was really taken by this. It was in black and white right in front of me. Here it is. These plants are under threat. To be able to express that in a way that showed the vulnerability of these plants and to keep a balance between the scientific approach and the artistic approach and appreciating more and more that we live in a, an internationally recognised botanical hotspot. Southwest of Australia is just botanically amazing and the more I learn about it, the more I, my respect grows and the more I appreciate it and the more I want everybody to know about it and care about it. I found another document or a little book that spoke about the banksias in Australia, 83 banksias in all of Australia and 62 of those come from Western Australia. So these things are just so incredibly unique here and special and those I did pair back to a skeletal elemental form. Everything's been kind of taken back, paired back to the, to the kind of basic bones of things that are important. So the Bark series um, came about one day when I was walking through the um, Melaleuca trees on the edge of a little stream and kids had been there playing and they pulled the sheets of bark off the tree and there was these giant sheets laying on the ground which in one way to me was heartbreaking <laughs> but I was also delighted in a way to see kids still playing in the bush and kids still having a relationship with nature and um, took it home and then I, I kind of it just was so of the body so flesh-like that I just wanted to kind of heal it somehow I wanted to mend it and heal it reconfigure these pieces that had you know, already had this whole journey of the tree's life, the kids play and now they were coming together into a new form. But one of the things I discovered on my journey of researching this project was this thing called plant blindness. It means that people don't see plants, they don't actually recognise one plant from another because they're so used to not really looking. So I thought that was really interesting too and to just kind of play with the work in a way that makes you look. We have these plants left so before these stories go, before things leave us, we kind of need to step up and look after and I guess my uh, effort is to bring those things to view via my art practice.